Now, for Women's History Month, we have one story about a local elementary school teacher who's also an accomplished boxer. So we sent our Trent Croce over there, and so he joins us live in studio. Trent, you spoke with her. Did she throw hands at you? Was she nice? How did it go? Luckily, Tatiana, she didn't. I am all in one piece and no marks on me. Tatiana, she's Brooke Jacob, a STEM teacher at Shoreland Elementary in Washington local schools. She says her journey has come full circle as a Shoreland Elementary alum herself and the lessons she learns in the ring, she uses to teach her students too. And the winner by unanimous decision in the red corner. Yeah! Saying you're gonna get punched eight times, but can you punch nine times back? It's things like that. You're gonna fall down. Can you get back up? And that mindset, I think, really helps me. You have to explain to kids that it's okay to lose. This is just a building progress. And just because someone does something good doesn't mean that you can't do it better. It's this mentality of grit and determination Brooke Jacobs brings to hundreds of students in kindergarten to sixth grade every week. For Jacobs, Northwest Ohio has always been home. Having graduated from Whitmer in 2016, she went to the University of Cincinnati for college. There, she discovered a love furthering thanks to the big screen. Creed came out um, when we were in high school, and then I started watching that, and then my family got me into the Rocky movies, and I'm like, I like really like this. Like, boxing is pretty neat. Like, I want to try that. So to stay busy at UC, she joined the National Collegiate Boxing Association, and in 2019, Jacobs was named the NCBA national runner-up in her division. But the pandemic hit the following year, changing everything, and her boxing career took a hit. Our regional tournament had gotten canceled the day before due to COVID, so our national tournament had gotten canceled, and then it was just like one day I just was no longer an athlete. Recently, her coaches reached out and Jacobs couldn't resist. She's been a part of the USA Boxing for the past couple of years and even went to Cincinnati. But before that, word got out. The kids found out and it was this whole thing. They actually did like a walk in on Friday. Um, my principal had made an announcement like, we're not gonna do a clap out for Miss Jacob. We're gonna do a clap in. So she's gonna walk around the school. We're all gonna wish her luck for her match. The kids made like a big banner for me. As for the future, Jacob says she may hang up the gloves soon since she has to travel a lot for matches. But if coach calls, she says she's likely hopping back in. So I'll probably end this year, but if he calls me in, at the end of fall or in uh, the end of winter, at the end of this year, I'll definitely accept the fight. Jacob says USA Boxing is planning to hold its first tournament in Toledo this July. She says the elementary school is also in the works of having an after school boxing program for kids who need a healthy outlet. Reporting in studio, Trent Croce, WTOL 11.